I was out riding my bike one day earlier in 2021 and I literally found $120 on the ground. Eight months later, I grew it by 1,388% and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Jared here, back with another episode of Minding My Money Mondays, a common sense talk about money matters. So how did I find the money? Well, it went a little something like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. What's this? Dude, seriously. Like, there's nobody around around here. Who just, where'd this cash come from? I mean, dude, somebody's gonna be really mad. I mean, it's, it's just cash. I mean, how do I even try and get it back to somebody? Now, there are tons of things I could have blown my cash windfall on, kind of like I talk about in one of our first videos from the channel. But ultimately, I chose to put the money to work so it could make me even more money. So here's what I did. Given that my goal was to grow this money so it could give me the biggest return on investment, I opened an account with an investment brokerage. Then I took some credit card points I had and cashed those out to add to this money. Remember, the bigger the asset base, the bigger the ROI. I then started buying dividend paying stocks each and every month. No other types of stocks, just the ones that I knew would pay me dividends. And lastly, I told the investment brokers to reinvest any dividends I earned. What this basically meant was that I would purchase more stock with the money the stock was paying me, which in turn would pay me even more dividends in the future and cause the whole cycle to repeat. So after eight months of doing this, what happened? Well, I started with $120 of found money added $257.92 of credit card rewards to the pot, invested $100 a month for eight months, took $535.36 of extra money that I had and threw that into the mix, earned $28.65 of dividends, earned $44.89 of capital gains, or basically, this is how much the value of my stock went up just through appreciation. So in the end, I wound up purchasing 30 different company stocks. The $73.54 of dividends and appreciation accounted for 4.1% of my portfolio value, which I grew by a whopping 1,389%. So what are you trying to tell me, Jared? Okay, if I had to give you some main takeaways, they would be that you don't need a lot of money to start investing. Many people think that they have to wait until they have all this money to begin, and you don't. All you have to do is save up that first amount to open your account. Take your extra money, like credit card rewards points, cash back, gift cards, Christmas and birthday cash. And instead of spending it on things that will make you look rich, spend it on things that will make you rich. Make your investing a regular or automatic habit so that your money compounds on itself. I found a way through scrimping, scrounging, or just not being wasteful with my spending to come up with $100 each and every month that I can invest in my and my family's future. Try and invest in things that will pay you money like either dividend or growth stocks or even real estate or REIT stocks. And if you don't know where to start, then make sure you check out this video. And remember to take a long-term view or approach. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's investing in you for the long-term. While $73.54 might not seem like that much, remember, the whole process was started with the $120 I found. And in that eight months, I got 61% of that $120 back in the form of dividends and appreciation. <laughs> Not bad for $120 I found laying on the ground. Now, if you found this video helpful, then feel free to give it a thumbs up and then check out some of the other money videos that we have here on the channel. And until we meet again, I'm Jared Rogers CPA, reminding everyone to continue to mind my money and I'll see you all next Monday. Take care.